To start off our Bible lesson today, I want to do a little imagining together. Let's imagine that Justin was watering the garden when his friend came up and asked him to come play basketball. Justin said, uh, I can't come yet. Dad went to work and he told me to do the watering before I could play. Justin's friend said, you've already done some watering besides your dad is at work. He'll never know if you didn't finish. Hmm. Maybe you've got some feelings or some thoughts about some dishonesty going on there. Today we're going to hear a Bible lesson about a time when Jesus' disciples had to make a decision. Would they do what God wanted them to do or what Jesus' enemies wanted them to do? In our Bible lesson, we're going to learn what Jesus' disciples did when the enemies wanted them to stop teaching about Jesus. Jesus' disciples had some important work they were doing. Jesus had given them a command, go and make disciples. They taught people about Jesus, about Jesus' love and his forgiveness. The Holy Spirit gave the disciples power to do many miracles in Jesus' name. And lots of people heard the good news about Jesus and believed in him. But Jesus' enemies were angry when they saw that more and more people loved Jesus and believed in him. The disciples said, we must do something, or not the disciples, excuse me, the enemies of Jesus said, we must be, do something to stop this. So they took Jesus' disciples and put them in jail. We heard last week about Peter and John being thrown into jail. And here is another time when the disciples are thrown into jail. During the night, God sent an angel who opened the doors of the jail and brought the disciples out. The angel told them, go to the temple and tell people about Jesus. Think about that for a second. You were here in jail. Now I want you to go to church. Go to church and keep on doing the thing that got you thrown into jail. The disciples did what the angel told them, and early the next morning, they went to the temple and taught people about Jesus. But the enemies did not know anything about this. The same day, enemies told some men, go get the disciples from jail. But the men, when the men got to the jail, they saw that the disciples were not there. They did not know that an angel had come and set the disciples free. The men went back to the enemies and said, uh, when we went to the jail, it was locked and the guards were standing at the doors. But when they opened the doors to get the disciples, no one was inside. The enemies and the guards could not figure out what happened. Then someone said, look, the men you put in jail are at the temple. They are teaching about Jesus. Some of the guards went to get the disciples. They brought them to the enemies of Jesus and the enemies of Jesus said, we gave you orders not to teach about Jesus, but you're still doing it. Peter and other disciples answered, we must obey God rather than men. God wants us to tell about Jesus, his son, who died to forgive all people. When the enemies heard this, they were furious and wanted to kill the disciples. But after the enemies talked a little longer, they instead had some men beat the disciples. So hit them and treat them cruelly. Then the enemy said, we will let you go, but do not teach about Jesus again. The disciples left. They did not obey the enemies. The disciples knew it was better to obey God, so they kept preaching about Jesus day after day. At the beginning of our Bible lesson today, we heard a little story about a boy named Justin who was helping 
or who is told to water the garden. And his friend said, let's go play. And Justin had an important decision to make. Do I obey my dad and do what he asked me to do? Or do I go have fun with my friend? He has to decide what to do and what his dad wants and what his friend wants. The best decision would be for Justin to obey his dad and finish his watering before he goes to play. We are going to continue tomorrow talking about how sometimes the devil wants us to do things and be disobedient to destroy God's church and stop doing the things that God asks us to do. We know that with Jesus' help, we can continue to tell others about him confidently with the help of the Holy Spirit. Let's close here with a prayer. Lord, even when others don't want us to, help us to tell about you, about who you are, what you've done for us, and how you continue to be with us and bless us. Amen.